Hey guys, I got some great news for you for people who do stadium edits. Um, I think it, you know this could be used for other edits too, but I think mainly for stadium edits. Uh, Jua W over at BlenderArtist.org helped me out today. Um, I was asking about if I could do anything with object mode. Now, whenever I do a Blender tutorial with you guys, I always tell you we have to go to edit mode to change things. Um, well, we can do edits in object mode now, and that makes things a lot easier for stadiums and for street courts. So I'm going to load up the Pits Pittsburgh Pirates City Vista from MLB 2K12, which thanks to Vlad's upcoming update for Red MC, I'll be able to import into NBA 2K14, which is great for street mods. So as with everything, when you first load it up, I always like to scale the stadium down by 0 .001. Now this is done in object mode. It doesn't normally edit anything um, in the actual, it, it doesn't change the size of the city in game or in the model or anything yet. So what we can do now is I can take this city and manipulate it here in object mode rather than going tab. So like normally I'd have to change, you know, go to t um, edit mode and change this part of the bridge and then change this part of the bridge and then change this part of the bridge. Big pain in the ass. I don't gotta do that no more. <laughs> it's so friggin' awesome. So what we can do is we can actually do the transformation here in object mode and then we can uh, even do rotations and stuff too. So this is going to open up a lot of opportunities for me, and I hope to, you know, it will have some application to you guys as well. So let's say I want to move the court, which is going to be here at the origin. Um, let's say right here at the edge of the bridge in the street, because why the hell not? So we just want to move this point over here. Now that's usually easy enough. Press A to select all the parts. Draw a line. Press middle click to move it on this axis. Draw a line. Middle click. Move. And that's, that's good enough. I mean, for the purposes of this tutorial, that's good enough. Um, you know, obviously it's a little screwed up and there's going to be all these lights and things, but that's beyond the point. Right now, I just did a move in object mode. Now, normally when we export this file, nothing would change. Uh, uh, nothing would change at all. And um, it, that's, that's why we have to go to edit mode and change all um, 77 of these objects manually <laughs> to do the same things over and over again. Now, the origin of the uh, entire model is right here at zero, 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 right? Well, if you look here, it shows that the origin's right here. All we gotta do, <laughs> this is so awesome. All we gotta do to make this kind of uh, movement of the entire city apply so that the court shows up here instead of right here is, oh crap, what do we do? We go to object, transform, and then center cursor. And that's it. Now, when I export this, the court will show up here as if I did actually moved all these one by one by one by one instead of uh, showing up down here where the actual baseball diamond is. So, ah, oh, okay. The biggest thing here is that that's where that 3D cursor was. Now, the problem here is that that cursor is very easy to move. It's a left click anywhere, and this friggin' thing follows you. <laughs> Now, if I were to move the center of all these objects to the cursor, it'd show up over here. And the court would probably... It, it, it's going to be bad news all around. The court stays at 0, 0, 0, 0. So, I mean, you know, that, that, that causes problems. So the one thing is, is that instead of doing all of these, just as a safety, because we're using an old version of Blender, and we don't have the ability to snap the cursor back to 0, 0, 0, um, I like to keep all of them but one. So let's say I want to move all this stuff up here. Under select, do a B and rectangle select. So I've selected everything again, except, oh, whoops. Can I select without that? What's this connected to? Oh, I keep selecting that. Okay, well, let's say I want to move all these background buildings then. So if I want to move all these and I accidentally, so let's say I want to move them all over here like this, and I can't snap this to the cursor because the cursor is off. Well, I can right click here and to select that, or you can um, do the B thing and, and select it. Go to snap and cursor to active. Yep. So it snaps the cursor to the active points origin. This is the point of origin. That that's that's the problem here. So normally when we do a trans a move a transformation, this point of origin is all it, it's it moves along with the rest of the model. And what we want to do is keep the point of origin in the same spot, but still move the model. And that will edit it for us. 
So now I can take all the stuff that we moved and I can go to object, transform, center to cursor. Boom. And now the cursor goes over there. And now when I save this and export it and put it in NBA 2K14, the court will still show up here and all these buildings will be have, will be moved as well. Now that's all fine and dandy. That's that's fun. That's that's a neat little thing, right? So let's uh move this up and let's put the court in the middle of the river here, underneath <laughs> underneath the bridge. That's great. Um, let's move it up a little bit over here. So, we're going to have the court in the middle of the river. Let's say, though, now the court defaults like this, kind of orientation. Let's say I want to make the court go this way, you know, as if it's on a barge and actually traveling down the river, or whatever stupid thing I want to do. So, let's go ahead, and since I moved everything, let's once again move all the object origins to the cursor at 0, 0, 0. And then I want to do a rotate and middle click to change it on the green axis the Y axis right here whoa and I'm just gonna go ahead and type in 90 now since we did a rotation and un unfortunately it's not the same thing um, it, it, it'd be really awesome if that was the same thing and all we had to do was the same kind of um, snap the thing but unfortunately since we didn't actually move the points of origin there's nothing to really update so it, it won't do anything so what you have to do to fix this, what if you if you do a rotation, you press Control A, and you do apply to object, rotation to object data. And that's it. It went through all of the objects, edited them to update that rotation. If for whatever reason I wanted to make this really small and have a miniature little city in the thing, I could press Control A, scale to object data. Ta -da. and then I'll have a really tiny little city now you gotta be careful with that because that stuff doesn't really undo very well <laughs> now this is a really this is a kind of a complicated thing um, thankfully with the video tutorials I can just show you how to do it and because I do a terrible job explaining um, this is gonna be very useful for me to make courts that are kind of like NBA Street home court where they have like an environment and there's multiple courts in one environment um, so I'm going to be able to do that really easily because instead of having to move 77 objects um, to where I need them, I can just shift the entire freaking um, city <laughs> to where I need it um, to adjust for the new court location. So this is an awesome time-saving thing. Um, other applications for this, for like stadiums, if you want to lower the entire roof and the entire jumbotron, this will make it a lot quicker. Um, instead of having to go to edit mode and do or running a macro on your mouse like I used to do. Um, like I said, for Cyberface people, I don't really think this would help that much. Uh, maybe for a quick scale. Um, you could scale the eyeballs. And um, you could do big head mode, essentially, I guess. Um, but then you have to adjust the neck anyway. So it's a, it's, it's a nifty little thing. It's a nifty little trick, um, especially when we're this close to if editing in Red MC. And... I hope you guys uh, caught something from this. This is more of an advanced tutorial. Um, check up, up my, on my other Blender tutorials for how to use the uh, 2K stuff in this. And um, yeah, I hope you guys learned something. If you need additional help, let me know in the comments. I'll see what I can do for you. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.